hey welcome back to the channel it's so great to be back after i think two weeks of being off um i just want to quickly apologize for my absence and um i will do my best uh not to disappear off the face of the earth again but uh with that being said let's uh, get straight into it i'm gonna quickly go through uh us dollar and show you guys um what i see um as you may know uh it's towards the end of the month it's the 28th today um we only got a couple of days left two days left i was thinking it's three but i know it's not um but yeah uh two days left uh us dollar has actually made um these new highs in comparison back in march time so look at this massive dip um let's go on to the daily and see what's going on last week closes are like a little doji so not much movement has been happening uh with this week uh only started some movement to the upside uh i know it's only tuesday um but yeah um uh price action is above the ma's uh i don't see this well i had this originally but i know that um us dollar is still is still in a bullish trend like it still hasn't created a new lower low it hasn't um so the market has actually been a bit stagnant lately not much volume means happening um you, as you can see it's just been consolidating for quite a bit even um it didn't even manage to create a new lower low in comparison to that so that's my support level at one two eight four eight eight four five um so yeah like us dollar hasn't been doing much it hasn't been going into a particular direction although it is on um uptrend on the low uh, on the higher time frame on the lower time frame not much going on not much volume and we can see this actually across um onto gbp usd which is a great way um i'm transitioning to gbp usd um on the daily you can see the opposites happening so let's just go back and show you like one two three four five six six or something dojis if you go on here one two three four four dojis but anyways um you can see it the gist is there like there's not much volume it's just been consolidating when i talk about volume i'm talking about great movements in the market like this shows a volume this shows volume this shows no volume whereas it's trapped in between two price points as we go low on the uh time frame on the four hour this is the resistant level that i actually originally had and this is what i do see you could put it out like that but i also have this one here because i'm trying to use counter trend lines to see where i can get into the market and execute and obviously make a profit so um on the lower time frame on the one hour this is where it would have been or even here and then with the higher stop loss so yeah uh us dollar looks like it's bullish on the lower time frame on the two hour it's um over engulfed or should i say bullish engulfed that's the right term uh and on the lower time frame on the two um on gbp usd it's done the same and it's showing its potential to go to the downside so this is what i'm currently looking at this is the trade opportunity um just manage your risk um and look at where you're going to put your risk reward um and your stop loss and take profit and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed that please leave a like subscribe comment down below of what you would like to see more of um and hopefully i'll do another video real soon all right take care